So in this video, we're going to go through some examples of hidden quadratics involving e. So for this first one, we need to solve e to the 2x, take away 6e to the x plus 5 equals 0. So this is of the regular form. e to the 2x can be written as e to the x squared. Then we've got take away 6e to the x plus 5 equals 0. So this can be factorised. Now we need two numbers that multiply together to make 5, but add together to make minus 6. So that would be minus 5 and minus 1. So either e to the x is equal to 5, or e to the x is equal to 1. So x would be the natural log of 5, or x would be equal to 0. So these are the two solutions to the original problem. Okay, so number 2. e to the 2x is equal to 2e to the x. Now, I'm going to do this in two different ways. The first way is what you might instinctively do, and that is to rearrange it first to get e to the 2x, take away 2e to the x is equal to 0. Now, e to the 2x is, of course, e to the x squared. And now we'll factorise. So the left-hand side factorises to e to the x take away 2 times e to the x equals 0. So either e to the x is equal to 2 or e to the x is equal to 0. Now for that equation, x would be the natural log of 2. This equation has no real solutions because e to the x does not cross the x-axis. Now, that's one way of doing it. Um, however, you could also, at the very start, you could have divided through by e to the x. Now, in general, dividing through by a function can be quite dangerous, especially if that function, well, mainly because if that function is 0, then you will lose a solution. But here, e to the x can never be 0. So dividing both sides by e to the x will not change it. I will not lose any solutions. So actually, if I divide both sides by e to the x, I would get e to the x on the left-hand side, and on the right-hand side, I would just get 2. And so e to the x equals 2, so x is the natural log of 2. And that would be the only solution. Okay, So that one you could do either way. I would recommend for that example, though, that you write down that e to the x can never be 0, OK, in order to allow that logical jump. Now, for number 3, we're going to have to rearrange that. Now, I'm going to write the e to the 2x as e to the x all squared. We've got take away 3 e to the x, and I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides, so get everything onto one side. So now that can be factorised. So uh, two numbers that multiply together make minus 4, but add together make minus 3, would be minus 4 and plus 1. So e to the x is equal to 4 from that bracket, or e to the x is equal to negative 1. Now for this, x would be equal to the natural log of 4, this has no real solutions, because e to the x cannot go past the x-axis. Can't get to the x-axis even. Okay, So there's only one solution here, the natural log of 4. OK, number 4 then. e to the 2x plus 1 is equal to 3e to the x. Now I'm going to write e to the 2x plus 1 as e to the 2x times e to the 1. And I'm going to subtract 3e to the x from both sides and put it equal to 0. Now I can write this as, so reverse order them, um, e to the 1 times by e to the x squared. OK, like that. Now, this is a quadratic, but I just need a single bracket. 
So I'm going to factor e to the x out of a single bracket here. And inside the bracket, I'll have e times e to the x. Take away 3. So either this bracket is 0, in which case e to the x would be equal to add 3 to both sides, divide through by e, so 3 over e. Or e to the x is equal to 0. Now we know that has no real solutions. Okay, so at the start, we could have divided through by e to the x, just like in number 2. Um, if you'd done that, you would have got e to the x plus 1 is equal to 3. And then you could solve that equation. Okay, now I'll come back to that in a moment. Let's focus our attention on this one first. So x would be the natural log of 3 over e. Okay? Now, the solution to this must be, well, that solution there would have to be the solution to this equation as well, which would be, well, x plus 1 would be the natural log of 3, so x would be the natural log of 3 take away 1. Now, using your log laws, you could write that as the natural log of 3, take away the natural log of e, which is the natural log of 3, take away 1. And that's where you can see the two solutions are the same. OK, so that's a good one to practice your log laws with. OK. So, last one. 8e to the minus x plus 12e to the x take away 35 equals 0. Now, remember that 8e to the minus x is equivalent to 8 over e to the x. So we saw some examples like this a few videos ago. So what I'm going to do is multiply everything through by e to the x. It will get rid of that fraction for me. So if I multiply this term by e to the x, I'll have 8. If I multiply that term by e to the x, I'll have 12. e to the x times e to the x, so e to the x squared. And then take away 35 times e to the x is equal to 0. Now let's just reorder this so it's in a neater format. OK, now what does this factorise to? So I'm going to use my calculator for that. So I'm going to go to menu and then the equation solver, so polynomial degree 2. So 12 minus 35 and 8. And we get 8 thirds and 1 quarter. So in here, we would have three lots of e to the x take away 8. And in here, 4 e to the x take away 1. So solving this equation, I would get x is the natural log of 8 thirds. And solving this one, x is the natural log of 1 quarter. And they are the solutions to question number 5.